welcome back to the channel it's your girl selena and today you guys i'm gonna be showing you guys how i make lasagna for dinner so we're gonna hop right into this video before we get started make sure you guys give this video a big thumbs up subscribe to the channel turn on those post notifications leave a comment down below all that good stuff don't skip my ads and we gonna hop right into this because your girl is hungry okay let me bring the ring light a little bit closer so you guys can get better lighting Say hey. hey. All right, so we're gonna be using ground turkey because we don't eat red meat up in here. Just like we don't eat pork either, so. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open up the ground turkey and put it in the pot and then we're gonna season it. So give me a second. I'm gonna start by filling up my pot with water so I can get that boiling first because ground turkey takes quick. All right, guys, to the pot, we're going to add some olive oil. And we're going to add some salt so the noodles could get some type of flavor in it while it's cooking. And the oil is to keep the noodles from sticking together. And then we're going to cover the pot with a lid so it could boil faster because it's going to take a long time. Okay, guys, we're going to cut up this onion. And because I'm doing this with one hand, I'm just going to do it and come back. Here's all the seasonings I'm going to be using. I'm going to be using adobo. I'm going to use two packs of sasson since it's three pounds of ground turkey. I'm going to use Italian seasoning. I'm going to use this garlic and herb seasoning. I'm going to use some chopped chives, black pepper, minced garlic, crushed red peppers, and I'm going to use the rest of this frozen ricaito, which is basically peppers, Onions, culantu, cilantro, all that good stuff blended up. All right, together. guys, so I added my onions to the pan or to the pot with a little bit of olive oil. I'm gonna just sit here and saute these up a little bit for like two, three minutes. All right, so now that the onions been cooking for a little bit and the aromas have released themselves, we're gonna go ahead and add the ground turkey to there. I'm gonna do it off camera because I gotta use both of my hands to now do it. Now we're gonna go ahead and break up this meat a little bit so we can get it seasoned. Normally, I would sit there and break it up in a bowl first and then season it. But because I got my nails done, your girl not trying to be doing too much. So, we gonna make it work without touching a whole bunch of stuff. I'm also making some white rice on the side because my girlfriend's sister requested me to make lasagna with white rice. So, that's what we're doing. We just got Puerto Rican up in here. And if y'all never have lasagna with white rice, y'all gotta try it. Because it's mad good. Alright, so. This is probably about a half a cup of ricaito. I'm gonna add the whole thing. The whole thing. I'm gonna add two of these spoons of garlic. So I guess this is two teaspoons, tablespoon. I'm not sure, just two of those. Then we're gonna add some of this garlic and herb seasoning. Extra garlicky. Extra garlic. You can never have too much garlic. We're gonna add some Italian seasoning. Boy, if my mama saw me using this. My mom hate Italian seasoning. We're going to add, add these chopped chives. I'm pretty sure it adds some type of flavor. Sit there and sprinkle it up in there. We're going to add a tablespoon of black pepper. So it could give it a little kick, a little, little, little something, you know what I'm saying? We're going to add about a teaspoon to a teaspoon and a half of adobo. So we're just going to do this. I'm doing it until my ancestors tell me to stop. All right, that's good. I'm gonna add some crushed red pepper for spice. I'm gonna do a little bit because the kids gotta eat it too. And then I'm gonna add both packs of these on. I have to open it off camera because I can't do it with one hand. All right, so we're gonna add both packs of sassone sazon and now we're gonna mix this all together hold this 
real quick? What are you doing hey, hey, come, come, come hold this real quick. All right, I had to get some help because I couldn't get it stirred the way I need to and record at the same time. So we got to mix it all together. Get all the flavors in there. And then we're going to mix this in, and then cover it with a lid and let it cook. And then like every two to three minutes, we're going to mix it again because ground turkey takes quick to cook. All right, guys. I don't know how much um, lasagna I need to make this because I have three pounds of ground turkey and I never used three pounds of ground turkey before. I, I usually only use like a pound and a half or two pounds. And that's because it's normally just me and Christina and Alila, or I'm just used to having not that many people. So because I got three pounds, I think I'm gonna use one and a half boxes of this lasagna and hopefully it's enough. And hopefully it's not too much because I'm not trying to waste no food. All right, so the water's boiling. We're gonna go ahead and start adding the lasagna noodles in there. Everybody in the pot. I'm going to open the other box and put the other half in there, but you guys get the idea. All right, for my spaghetti sauce, we're going to be using tomato, basil, garlic, pasta sauce. We're going to use probably two jars. All right, so I'm going to drain some of this juice out of the ground turkey because I don't want my spaghetti sauce oily. I'm going to drain out some and leave about maybe a third of a cup in there just to keep some flavor but i'm gonna drain most of it out because that looks like a lot of all right we're gonna add our sauces one two i added both because i don't want it to be dry so to the sauce we're gonna add more seasonings we're gonna use some italian seasoning not too much because we already added some to the meat we're gonna do another teaspoon of black pepper because we want all of it to have flavor. We're gonna add some more of this garlic and herb seasoning because you can't go wrong with too much garlic. We're gonna add some more of those chives. We're gonna add about another teaspoon or so of some adobo or season it until my ancestors say stop. We're gonna add a little bit more crushed red peppers, not too much. And now here's the main seasoning. You have to have this, sugar. This is gonna balance out all of that acid from the, it's gonna kill the acid from the spaghetti sauce and it's gonna balance out all the seasonings together. It's gonna balance it all together. Just one of these spoons. I'm going to taste it and see if I need to add more. If I need to add more, I'll add more. But we're going to start out with that. So now we're going to go ahead and mix this all together. And then we're going to let this simmer until the lasagna noodles is done. So that all the flavors and everything could get incorporated together with the spaghetti sauce and the ground meat. We're gonna come back in about two minutes and taste it and see if I need to add any more sugar, but we gotta let it cook a little bit first so the flavors can wake up. We'll come back to this in two minutes and see if I need to add anything else. All right, so I tasted it a little bit of the meat sauce and it doesn't need anything else. So we're just waiting for our lasagna noodles to finish and then we're gonna go ahead and assemble our lasagna. Okay guys, so my lasagna noodles and my meat sauce is done and I'm ready to assemble my lasagna pan. Let me show you guys what kind of cheese I'm about to be using. So my cheeses, you guys, I'm gonna be using mild cheddar and mozzarella cheese. So we're gonna take one of these lasagna noodles and my hands are clean. We're gonna take one of my lasagna noodles, place it in the pan. All right, so we're gonna add another lasagna noodle. This shit's hot. Supposed to wait for it to cool down, but we hungry up in here. It's 10 o'clock. Layer it. I think we got plenty of lasagna noodles. So we're gonna do three. Then we're gonna add the sauce. 
the meat sauce. We don't eat ricotta cheese up in here. So for those of you guys who are wondering where's the ricotta, we do not use that shit. Because that's just some nasty shit. We don't use that. Y'all want to add ricotta cheese to yours, then feel free. But we don't like that over here. All right, with a clean hand, we're going to go ahead and grab some mild cheddar cheese. And some mozzarella cheese. Just like that. We're not going to do too much cheese because we all this lactose intolerant up in here. And too much is going to have us all crying and hurting for the bathroom later. So we're going to add our next layer of lasagna noodles. And you will be surprised how many people will probably look up how to make lasagna that don't know how to make lasagna. So for those of you who are wondering who don't know how to make lasagna, you'll be surprised. A lot of people can't cook. All right. So there we go. Added the next layer. Now we're going to do the next, the next layer of meat sauce. Now it doesn't have to be perfect because we're adding a whole bunch of layers. So... But you want to cover it for the most part just so it's not like too empty. I'm saying. Okay. Now we're going to do the next layer of cheese. Some more mozzarella. Okay. And then cheddar. It was supposed to be extra sharp, but I guess this is what they had. So. We're just going to use what we got. Mix it all around so all the lasagna noodles gets cheese. Then we're going to add some more. I think I made too much noodles. Okay. Next layer. This layer is going to get four. I probably should have did four because that, that that makes more sense. All right. More more meat sauce. I'm going to finish this. And when I'm done um, finishing this up together, I'm going to show you guys um, it. All right, guys. Time. This is the lasagna all assembled. We're going to go ahead and add some Italian seasoning to the top for some color. Now we're going to go ahead and pop this in the oven for about 15 to 20 minutes until the cheese is all melted. At 380 degrees. All right, guys. So the lasagna is done. I almost forgot I was filming. We got garlic knots for Christina and for whoever else wants them. And we also have the white rice. All right, guys. So we're going to make the first plate, which is going to be for one of the kids. Both of the kids. They get their plates first. We got Milani. Yo, while I was cooking it and put it in the oven, she was like, what you cooking? I was like, lasagna. She was like, ew, I did not eat that. I was like, you never had that before. She was like, I never had it. I was like, so why are you saying ew? She was like. Yup. She was like, ew. All right, I'm going to give the kids a little bit of rice, too, just in case they want some. Trying to record with one hand and do this is, like, a lot of work. She got some rice, because you got to have the rice with the lasagna. Christina was like, are y'all serious? Y'all want garlic bread? Yeah. Yeah. I want everything. We got one, and we got two. So here we go to the kids. Here you go, Alila. Here you go, Milani. Oh, I'm about to make the grown-up stir plates. And here's my plate, guys. Got the lasagna, the rice, and the garlic knots. Look good, look good. Ooh, wee. How is it, Lila? Good. Good? 10 out of 10? 
Wait, guys. How guys, you like it, Milani? Good. 10 out of 10? Guys, you know what's crazy about me when I eat? What? I like to stand when I eat. And you like to use your hands? Yep. It makes the food taste better? Me too. Michaela. Oh, okay. All right, guys. So this food looks absolutely amazing. Thank you, God, for this food. Bless and purify it. In Jesus' name, I pray it. Amen. Amen. All right. So this is how you do this with the rice and the lasagna. So you got to take a piece of the lasagna. If y'all never did it like this, y'all got to do it. So, this is how you got to do it. You got to take a piece of the lasagna, take some of the rice, and eat it like that. Bon appetit. Like this? That's busted. Like the only person that's not getting rice is Christina. She's like, mm, that's too much. Mm. Mm. This was Michaela's idea. This is busted. What is so this is so here? good. What? Cause you said, ew, I don't eat that. The lasagna. When I was cooking, you was like, ew, I don't eat that. This? No, this is lasagna. <coughs> this stuff. You was like, ew, I don't eat that. I actually do. You actually do? Yeah. <laughs> it's because she said she never you had it. Crazy. You crazy. I got it from you. You crazy, girl. Like, why are you so crazy? Why are you so crazy? Why are you so crazy? You, you. Stop copying me. <laughs> Stop copying me. I'm just kidding. All right, guys. I'm going to finish eating this food and I'll be back after the end of the video when I'm done. All right, guys. So don't judge me, but I'm currently laying in bed and I forgot to close out the video. So here you go. If you guys like it, make sure you guys give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. Turn on post notifications. I'll see you guys in the next clip video. Till next time. Peace, love, and grace. Bye. This is what working from home looks like. <laughs>